Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is October 21st, 2012. It's currently 4.04 p.m. Chicago time. This is the part three recap and conclusion since uh, I would like to kind of move on to some other things now. Uh, another Other markets, that is. So we're going to end this one on the euro, but I want to bring a recap and closure to the part two. Hopefully you've seen part one and part two. In part two, uh, we were continuing right here at this price bar here, expecting to turn within one bar of this one right here. Now, as you can see, price actually moved two bars past, so that really blew past where that normal cycle swing was expected to occur. If you'll notice that uh, the low that actually occurred uh, two bars later here, okay, we only allow one bar later and then we can still buy off the high here. You, and if you wanted to, you still can when it made this reversal because it, it wasn't much of a penetration. But what I do want to bring up is that in my last video, I mentioned also that the euro pattern was still bullish in spite of the decline that we were having here. And one of the important things is this low did not go below the previous swing bottom low, keeping the bullish pattern intact. Okay? And, and then prices then have gone to even higher highs. So, uh, although it exceeded by one extra bar here, that wasn't expected for it to make that little dip there before turning up. Uh, it does happen when, uh, you know, you can't have 100% accuracy, but uh, I'll live with 90 plus. But the thing is, is I just wanted to conclude that we, we still got the higher swing bottom pattern here. And so the pattern continues to be bullish at this time. Um, and I'm not going to make any new forecasts in this one so I can, I can conclude this video. But as you can see... Um, Prices have moved up to this uh, area here that uh, was expected to. Now this date you see here refers to that higher bottom here, so ignore that. But um, you can see this red diamond uh, that's right here depicts this swing swing top. And then, of course, we're going to be looking for turns coming up in these these other areas here, which I'm, I'm not going to get into. But anyway, I just wanted to conclude this, that the pattern is still bullish. Uh, and, it, and it it did create the swing that was expected, the cycle swing, but um, unfortunately it did exceed it by a little bit. There's like, uh, what is that, 2844, four, by 11, 11 ticks right there. So it just kind of went right under that before it, it took out the high that I was looking for to move up higher. So part of it good, the other part not so good because I, I per personally uh, did not get in because it had gone that extra 11 ticks down that I wasn't expecting. So anyway, I got I to gotta talk about the good as well as the bad, so that concludes this video. Anyway, for further updates, etc., etc., and etc., if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you may even want to visit my website uh, where you can sign up for a free newsletter. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.